Sonic's one of the most hated characters in the game, even if, regardless of what you think of him, it's just uh, the truth. A lot of people don't like him. They find he is a very hard uh, nut to crack in terms of his playstyle. So I think when people see with a, a sortie style character that can actually shut down Sonic's approach options pretty well, they get like a nice glimpse into the world of what it's like to not be bullied by Sonic as for a lot of lower level players. And I think that opens up an interesting dynamic for them to, to see into. But we're going to start game one on Smashville. I think this benefits both players pretty well. Uh, I honestly say Marth a little bit more because it's hard to say. I feel like this is probably 50-50. But sword characters, I, I have a bit of a bias for, so I always want to say it's almost slightly in their favor. No, I would say it's not. Okay. But Pug is really good at stacing, so it may seem like Pug's favorite because he's just so on point with stacing that he just knows when to get the tippers. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Crazy good at getting tippers. Yeah, he's crazy good at it. So I would definitely say this is definitely uh, an assigned tipper. Uh, but not like terrible, like, you know, it's like... Yeah, with it's Mark and Lucina, like, they lose matchups, so they don't lose terrible. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's, it's they need like negative one at worst for negative one at worst. Right, again, it's literally neck and neck. 83% apiece for these guys. He does manage to get the tipper. Not enough to kill, but enough to put him off stage and almost kill. That is a kill. Oh, it is. He has to spend his up B. Kraftis takes his first stock. Dancing by getting 14% going. That's pretty big. Linking it in the 20. Linking it in the 30. Oh, you're gonna see a link in the 40. Not quite. Tells him get off me with that back air. That was nice. Yeah, he spaced out of the, the dancing blade, waiting, waiting for it to end. Yep. Ran in, got the grab. Looking really scary though. I mean, look at how spacing like crazy. And oh that my. is gonna do it. This is why I say like Pug is just a fiend at spacing these tippers. He looks, always like knows the right range. That's insane. With the added rage, he killed Kratos. I want to say that was like 70. 70 from center stage, mind you, with a tipper. And not even that much rage. Yeah. He's only at 100. He just, he just knows the right range to play in life. It's so crazy. That is a crazy mechanic. But Kratos yeah. feels like the stage didn't have anything to do with it. No, he wants no. to run back. That's actually a little weird, because you know I feel like Kratos actually does kind of pick uh, a lot. I feel like he always doesn't miss a, an opportunity to do that, especially in Dreamland. But I don't know what the record has been in Dreamland recently. I feel like maybe he's had a little bit of trouble against Pog. Well, the thing on that with, with Dreamland is you try to go to the top platform and up throw up there. That doesn't work on uh, the people in New England that actually know about it. Yeah. It's like a nice party trick. Right? Yeah, exactly. Once you do it a few times, they stop falling for it. That was a really smart way. Grabs his side. Doesn't manage to get the spring right up. Yeah, that really was close. close. But Pug is still in a bad position here. He's at the ledge. Maybe just to make it back on with a really nicely spaced Nair. On center stage. That's another scary thing when you're a Sonic in this matchup. Oh my gosh, that was cute. I thought that was it still for a second. But then the string. The magnet hands. He wasn't even facing the right way on the stage, but Marth still managed to contort his body around and grab the stage. Yeah, Marth and Lucina have like the best Marth magnet hands. Yeah, they really I'm not even gonna lie. Like then Mario. Oh my gosh, one. Mario's so good. Yeah, Mario. I, I'm always like, what? You need it back? His fist can be like, like, like where, where this is. <laughs> where they'll still grab it. Yeah. The corner of the bottom of the, the stage, and they'll still grab it. I'm just like, okay. So again, we're in a similar situation like the first game. Yeah, this is our first to three. Kratos got to turn up now or never. This is. This is yeah, yeah, it's not even finals. Yeah, usually uh, we're used to seeing them. Grand finals, fighting each other, but today we have Mars here. Yeah, but they gotta meet at some point. So does Kratos. He's gotta meet Pug at some point. Take the stop off and leave the pressure a little bit. It's just so hard for him to... It, it seems like he's really struggling getting past the, the disjoints that Pug is putting out right now. Because mm -hmm. despite how aggravating Sonic is, you can't deny as a character he really doesn't have the, the beefiest of hitboxes. He does have good kill tools, but a lot of his approach is just kind of spin dash and doing a lot of these safe things. So once you kind of figure that out, especially on a character like Marth or Lucina, it gets a little bit easier to deal with. Or and pretty much anybody with a good shutout tool. Yeah. Nice guy. 
Oh, okay. uh, I got a play. Oh, wow. Alright, so... Oh, this is scary. You gotta know he's hurting right now, especially after the f tilt doesn't take the stock. Still the iron, just long enough to survive. Probably getting a little greedy there. This is close. This is super close. Now, Tanya's already run down uh, to half. It doesn't seem like much, but for uh, the pace that the match has been going at, and how Sonic has somehow managed to survive this long, it's pretty impressive to consider that it's been going on for three minutes. And it's getting scary. Every time Kraftus has tried to recover with the spin dash on stage, it's spelled doom for him. Oh, get the grab, up throw, That's and that it. is going to do it. Okay. Still, good stuff from Kraftus. I'm really surprised I didn't see a counter pick to any other stage. But, I guess he was confident enough on it. Pug takes it 2-0. Great stuff to both players. Uh, definitely clean stuff from Pug. He really just felt like... If 